Hello everyone and welcome to the episode 17 of the mobile networks overview course in this lesson and maybe the next couple of lessons uh, we will discuss more details about the EPC network structure which you can see in this slide okay in the um, previous uh, episode uh, episode 16 uh, we give you a big picture from this network uh, but from uh, now on we will go through the details of each network element in this topology okay uh, let's start with enode b you know that enode b is the access part for the 4g lte network they are uh, they uh, they are connected together via x2 interface and the protocol is x2 ap okay uh, another uh, very important uh, network entity is MME, which is Mobility Management Entity, as the name told to you, it's responsible for uh, mobility management in each, uh, you know, in each mobile network, uh, network entity for um, managing the mobility is, uh, is mandatory as the name tells to us. Uh, like, for example, if I want to say an example about CS, like uh, MSC, Mobility Switching uh, Mobile Switching Center. Uh, in this uh, in this topology, in this network generation, this node is MME. For example, in the 5G, is AMF Access and Mobility Function, and so on. And let's go uh, to discuss more about the functions of. Oh, sorry the functions of uh, MME which you can see here okay so what are the functions of mobility management entity let's focus on this yeah one uh, non-access stratum it's a very important um, non-access stratum NAS signaling is very important functionality uh, so but what is NAS or NAS signaling uh, NAS is something between the user equipment and MME. A direct signaling. For example, for sending some essential information or data uh, information uh, that is stored or uh, is in the user equipment and SIM card, like for example, IMI or IMZ or uh, something else. And uh, where is the um, uh, NAS located? NAS is something uh, in this uh, protocol stack IP, SCTP, and here we have S1 IP, and here we have NAS, a sub layer. It's not a different layer from S1 IP, it's a sub layer in the top level. And if we want to tell you about its um, position in this network we should say that here we have NAS under under S1 AP which you can see uh, over S1 AP which you can see here okay uh, okay let's go through another uh, functions so you know right now you know NAS and in the later uh, episodes um, I will show you the this in the real packets uh, and also NAS signaling security selection of the PGW or P gateway and S gateway which we'll discuss later reachability of the UE in the idle mode and we should responsible for for tracking the reachability of the user equipments when they are idle or mm, in other words they don't have any activity tracking area list management you know there are some uh, areas in 4g terminology there are tracking areas and this list should be configured in mme, MME selection for handover with mme change you know we may have two types of handover handover means in moving the user equipment during the service so the difference between location update 
and handover is that handover occurs during a service. Please remember this is, is very important. And we selection for handover MME change uh, and we, and please remember that we have two handover in, um, in LT in 4G. One handover is X spawn based between two in B and another is S spawn based. We will also discuss that later. SGSN selection for handovers to 2G, 3G access network. You know that maybe uh, we want we want to have an um, inter-technology handover. For example, one person is moving from the 4G LTE coverage to the 2G, 3G. So MME should uh, pass the signal into SGSN and should select the right SGSN for this uh, for this um, scenario. And one of the very important things, as the name tells to us, mobility management and also authentication. Authentication uh, is very important because the network should make sure that you are a, uh, you are a, uh, authenticable. You, are, uh, you have authority to enter this network. PR management, uh, I told to you, in uh, the mobile networks, we have something like PR. Beer means the um, something like tunnel, something uh, that carries the data, carries the service. Uh, very generally, I can tell to you, it is something that can carry the service. So this, uh, this uh, maybe ten uh, functions of the mobility management and entity that we summarize here. Okay. So you see here, the um, this mobility management entity, as we see, all of the interface uh, connected to these uh, are control plane. So we can find out that MME is a control, is a signaling, controlling uh, network entity. You see, for example, with E node B, it has a control plane S1, MME or S1 C. Here, we see also, two of the inode B and also with SGWRS gateway we have S11 S11 which the protocol uh, is GTP GPR standing protocol and, and if you ask me about the protocol stack of GTP it's something like this IP UDP and GTP maybe it's confusing for you that why uh, for this signaling why a connectionless uh, protocol for transport is used. Uh, Let's think, uh, think about this uh, and uh, if you find the answer, if you couldn't find the answer, please tell to me uh, or comment in the YouTube and I will uh, guide you. And here we can see a 6A, a 6A which is the interface between MME and HSS and its diameter uh, and its protocol is diameter as you, as you know diameter is a very famous protocol for some something uh, a somber that needs uh, uh, for example if I go if I want to tell you a terminology from before somber that needs uh, very simply authentication authorization and accounting like triple a in the um, in before previously uh, so diameter also like this IP, SCTP, and diameter, which is very important protocol. Uh, so in this lesson, we we discussed uh, generally about the functions of MME and uh, its role in the network. Uh, in the next slide, in the next lessons, we will. Uh, discuss uh, the network uh, the functions of SGW, PGW, and PCRF and other uh, network elements. I will try to record more videos, but shorter uh, for you uh, very soon. I hope this video would be uh, would be useful and informative for you. If you like it, please uh, introduce this and uh, forward these videos uh, to your friends and uh, kindly. Uh, ask them to subscribe in my channel. Uh, hope to see you again. See you. Bye.